A function is something with an input and an output. It's very, very similar to when you have a graph y equals 2x plus 3 and you have to find the y value, the y coordinate when you're given the x coordinate. It's the same as that. So here, find f of 2. So that means the input, the x, is 2. We're putting 2 in and it's saying what do we get out? So f of 2, f of 2 is 2 times 2, because x is now 2, plus 3, which is 4 plus 3, which is 7. Find f of minus 3. So that means this time the input is minus 3. So it's going to be 2 times minus 3, plus 3. So minus 6 plus 3, that's minus 3. And solve f of x equals 15. So if the output's 15, what's the input? So what did we put in to get 15 out? So 2x plus 3 equals 15. What's x? So take away 3 from both sides. 2x is 12. And then divide both sides by 2. So that tells us x is 6. Okay, here's another one. So this time we've got g of x. g of x is 5x minus 3. It doesn't change it. So we've still got an input and we've still got an output. Um, this time the function is just called g instead of f. So g of 2. So the input's 2. So we put 2 in. 5 times 2 minus 3. 5 times 2 is 10 minus 3. That's 7 g of minus 3. So the input's minus 3, 5 times minus 3, minus another 3. So 5 times minus 3, 5 times 3 is 15, and it's negative, so negative 15, take away another 3, negative 18. And solve g of x equals 22. So that means that's the output, what's the input? 5x minus 3 is 22, plus 3 to both sides, so that's 25, divide by 5, we've got 5.